Hello, Richard and Beauties. Welcome to my channel. And for those of you who are new to my channel, I'm so glad you stopped on by to chill out with me for a minute and check out this palette. Now, those of you who want to see more details on this palette, please continue to watch. If you don't know, I don't know if you've been under a rock somewhere or you've just been in hibernation, but if you haven't heard about this Juvia's palette, the Warrior, I don't know what to tell you because this is straight up bomb. This is like a staple, a must have. I don't care if you're just starting out or you're just, you're, you're advanced or you're intermediate, this palette is straight flames okay like the box the shades in this palette are gorgeous when i saw this and i was like you know i have to have this now i am a huge fan of juvia's place i have everything from their eyeliners to their brushes and also i have their eyelashes go ahead and watch how i slayed it on my eyes and let me know what you think afterwards so if you haven't already before you continue why don't you go ahead and I don't know maybe hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you will know when I upload new videos without further ado let's get into it shall we so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the product that I used to achieve this look I've already done my brows and I've already applied my foundation I will show you the foundation that I did use now I've used two combination from the Estee Lauder line double wear stay in place makeup I was actually gifted the 5w bronze which is right here I already owned the 5W2 and this is in rich caramel. So I was gifted the bronze by Estee Lauder and I normally wear the rich caramel but the rich caramel is a little bit on the red side so I figured I would get the bronze and combine the two which I've been doing to create the shade that I want. My complexion has more of a yellow under golden undertone and then I have like with slight subtle red tone so it's really difficult to find my shade. I normally do on a regular basis have to mix the foundations. I would just use mix both of these one drop of each. I'll show you the difference in color. So I'll do a little swatch. This one is the rich caramel. So I'll rub that in slightly. So that's what the rich caramel looks like. And then I'll show you right next to it with the bronze. So right here is the bronze. And as you can see, it's really light. So I would tend to mix these two together to create the shade that I'm going for like that. Now once it dries down, obviously it'll get a little darker. So that's how I mix these two foundations. So let's get into what you guys really came here for, which is the other stuff I'm gonna be using for my eye look, which is the Warrior by Juvia's Place. Also I'm gonna be using is the eyeliner by Juvia's Place. So it's a Saharian eyeliner. What's the look without eyelashes? So I also have Lash It Out Lashes by Juvia. So I'm not sure which of these I'm going to use. I'm also gonna be using Soft Ogre on my lids as a base for the shadows. And as far as the lips, I'm gonna be using something by NYX. I'm not sure which one, which colors I'm gonna use. But let's just get into what we have here. So when we open it up, it does have a bubble wrap inside, which I'm actually gonna just leave that in for right now. It says, I tend to like to keep my packaging. We have this beautiful golden palette with these gorgeous young ladies on it. It's very strong. And I love the raised gold print. Here you have the plastic insert to protect it. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna start swatching. I'm gonna start this way and keep going down. So the first one I'm gonna swatch is going to be this top one right here. So you get three mattes and six shimmers, which I really, really love. So let's go ahead and begin with this look. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Morph brush M504, and I'm probably not gonna use too many brushes because I just got through cleaning my brushes this weekend. I don't wanna do too much cleaning again. I'm gonna use this shade right here, and I'm gonna use this shade over here. So I'm gonna use this lighter shade and this brown. Both of these and use another transition. 
for my brow bone. All right, so now I've done that. I'm gonna go ahead and with this shade alone, just below that. Just gonna build that up a little bit before I go on with the next shade. So that's what we have. Now I'm gonna go ahead and with this black brown shade on the outer V, which is right here. And then I'm gonna build that up a little bit at a time. Cause I don't want it too deep, too dark. Now I'm gonna go ahead and with my soft ogre paint pot by Mac, using this small concealer brush, I'm gonna go ahead and apply that to my lid. All right, I've done that. I'm gonna take my morph brush and I'm gonna go ahead and apply the first sh shadow, which is going to be the goldest of them all, which is the middle one right here. I'm gonna take some of that, apply that in the inner corner with my lids. And I'm just going to pack that on and build that color up. Okay, so I've done that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and with the same brush and I'm gonna go and swap this and put it on the outer V of my lid. I'm gonna go ahead and with this shade right here and put that right at the center of my lid. All right, so that's what the shade looks looking like on my eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and back in with a smaller brush to clean up any fallout. Go back in and clean it up a little bit more. Using the same brush, I'm gonna go ahead and with this shade right here on my brow bone. Then I'm gonna lightly go in and tap that brow bone. Then I'm gonna go back in and blend it. So that is my desired look. So now I'm gonna go ahead and with the Saharan eyeliner, which I love, and that's what you get comes with a brown and a black one, which I use a lot. And it comes with this double-ended eyeliner brush. So we have this angled brush here, and then at the other end, we have a, a brush for fine lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and with this. Now this is very creamy, and I absolutely love it. You literally just need to tap it, and you got product. Like literally, just tap it. I'm gonna use the other end to go on my lower lash line. All right, so I'm done with this. I'm gonna go ahead and, and smoke off the lower lash line with some of the shadows from the palette. And I'm gonna be using this smudge brush by Stelazi for my lowest lash line to smudge it out. So in the corner, very corner of my eye, I'm gonna go in with these two shades. And I'm gonna use these lashes here. For my lips, I'm gonna go ahead and use this NYX pencil, or NYX pencil in the shade, in the color 903. And I'm using that for the outline, and then I'm gonna go in with this Wicked Lippy by NYX in the color Trickery Super Cherry. I'm gonna go with this shade. It's like a, like a really, really dark green. I'm gonna use this NYX Duo Chromatic in the color Cocktail Party. That concludes my review on this palette by Juvia's Place. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below if you got your hands on one or you were able to get one. So I wanna say thank you to Estee Lauder for gifting me this foundation. I really do like it. I purchase a lot of their products. I actually use it on a daily basis. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or you liked the review. I'll leave all information down below as far as purchases, palette, and for the foundation. As always, stay fabulous and be your own vision of beauty. Until next time, bye warriors.
Hey.